Is this it? Are we about to see a pretty big stock market crash? Or is it just a small pullback? Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video. Trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There is no guarantees of making money in the markets. And trading is the most hardest thing you'll ever do and it takes a long time to become a good trader. So this video is just educational only. If you're struggling with your trading right now, then click on the very first link in the description and get a free training, the seven universal laws to become a master trader that will boost your success, consistency, and confidence without spending a decade trying to figure it out. Click on the very first link in the description right now. All right, hey traders, hope you're doing well. Let's actually bring this up to just a blank chart. Quick tip for you guys um, that are trying to analyze the markets, analyze what's really going on with the markets. The best thing to do is when you're analyzing the charts is to just bring up the chart itself and just start to analyze what's really going on. And the best thing to do, first thing to do is bring up that weekly chart and start to look at some what we call parameters in the markets, which means where is the long-term support and resistance lines going on right now? Where is that? And what's, that, what's actually going on? And you can see what I just did just there, just a minute ago, support becomes a resistance. There's actually a couple of resistance lines through where we are right now. And you can see that we actually uh, are continuing down through here. Now, let's actually continue on through here. Now we can see that we actually, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on the screen in there. Let me just delete that through there. Um, and, it, and as you can see, the market's making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. So right now the sellers are in control with a nice down bar with a good good increase in volume. So that tells me that, that obviously right now the sellers are in control. I don't think we're going to get a stock market crash, so to speak, right now. Um, but definitely sellers are in control. And anyone trying to buy this market right now, there's a lot of weakness in the markets. A lot, a lot, a lot of weakness in the markets. You're seeing a lot of the stocks, Apple, and a lot of the stocks actually dropping through the floor. So right now we're getting a lot of, a lot of uh, the Dow Jones is getting selling lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, all the way down. And as you can see, that if I just draw it from there to there, which is basically on the closes price, from there to there, you can see that's basically what we're in right now. If there is any, are we in any trend? Oh, there is a bit of a bit of a channel through here, isn't there? As you can see, it's a bit of a channel where we are right now. Um, and if I just delete that off the screen here for a minute, you can actually see probably X marks the spot where we are right now. We popped up a little bit, right? Small bars, and now we're getting a breakdown bar as well too. So it's a pretty strong breakdown bar. So the question is, and obviously same for the um, same for the Nasdaq and also the the uh, the S and P five hundred. So to me, look very very weak right now. The buyers are not in control. So buying this market right now is definitely risky because you're going against what the market is telling you. Respect the market. Respect the market. Respect the market. What do you think? What do you guys think that's going to happen next?